is good. Pain, lean forward. There we go. Handshake and yes. Hit your target. Good job, babe. Hey guys, thanks for swinging by. I sure do appreciate it. If you don't know, if you're new to the channel, this is quite possibly one of the most beautiful people that I know in this world. This I is Marty Simone. Simone. This is baby girl. This is my daughter. <laughs> and we're out at the range today because what did we do today? We shot some pistols. That's right. We brought her out today to start her off with uh, pistols. This will be the first time we've ever shot pistols together. Mm. Actually, not. Well, I mean, you shot my pistol one time, yeah, one but that, time. but we weren't really focusing in on teaching her the fundamentals as far as shooting pistols. So, mm -hmm. what we're going to do in this video, a little bit different than what I normally do, we're going to talk about when's a good time to uh, start young ones in shooting. Uh, we're going to talk about how to do that, and we're going to talk about the pistol that we shot today. Um, and if you guys are interested in jumping ahead, you can do that. I'll put timestamps down in the description below so that if you're just here for the pistol, um, you can skip a forward and check that out. So, okay, let's talk about uh, when was the first time you went shooting? Do you remember? I was about seven. Yeah, then about seven. Do you remember what the first thing that you shot was? All right. Yeah, yeah rifle. rifle. So the first thing that we uh, introduced her to when we brought her out to the range was a Ruger 1022. And what did you think about shooting the rifle? I loved it. You love it, don't you? I love it. Yeah, it's a really cool uh, rifle. I have to say thank you to my buddy Drew. He's the one that helped me pull it together because it's more of a uh, um, more of a tactical version for her Ruger 1022. We put it into our Troy stock and it is uh, very similar to like a um, an AR-15 uh, style setup. So that is really helpful for her because it has the pistol grip uh, and adjustable stock so we can get it to her length of pull. And that's something that we really enjoyed. The other thing yeah. too, is we have a suppressor for it. So it keeps the noise down, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. That noise is like. Yeah, not very loud at all, right? <laughs> Maybe a little bit louder than. Yeah, but it, it is pretty quiet and it keeps her pretty comfortable as well. Now, the question when uh, I do videos with baby girl in them uh, and with shooting and stuff like that is uh, a lot of people have asked, when's a good time to start bringing my kid to the range and allowing them to shoot? And that's really kind of up to your parenting and how well your kid is adjusted depending on what their age is. Now with her, she was seven and we started with the Ruger 1022. Mm -hmm. The reason why I started off then is because she was mature, I think past her peers at that point. She's really grown up for her age, I would say so. Yeah. Uh, she can take instruction very well. She's focused and she will actually do what we are telling her to do, yeah. right? So <laughs> Yeah, some, some seven-year-olds will just um, hold the gun being like, Better yeah, right? They'll be distracted by small little things, right? Yeah. So that is kind of the litmus test as far as making sure that your kid is ready to take them out to the range and start shooting, at least in my opinion, those four things, I think, right? And I think you do a good job. Would you agree? Yeah, I do, I do a really good job of focusing, especially if there's not too many things to distract me. Mm -hmm. That's right. So the other thing that I wanted to talk about is firearm safety and when is a good time to start talking about that. And we have started talking about that long time ago, like about when you were about five, we started talking about that. Yeah. You know, we talk about don't touch guns. Mm -hmm. If you find a gun, what do you do? I don't touch it. And treat it like it's loaded. Treat it like it's loaded. Don't and then, touch it and treat it like it's loaded. And if I have a friend 
and if I'm downstairs, I just go back upstairs with them. Okay, and then, then who do you tell? I tell a grown-up. A grown-up, right? Yeah, exactly. So. We've talked about that time and time again. She has a morale patch that has the four safety rules of firearms. Uh, so that we, is um, that is very helpful. We yeah, talk we about that. Yeah, we off like two of them. Yep. They're so like, let's go over them real quick. Number one is we treat all firearms like they are. Loaded. All right. And when we see a, if we have to hold a firearm, we never put our finger on the trigger. Right. Um, we never point it at people and uh, if we are ready to shoot then we need to make sure that we know what's in in front of the target and behind the target that's right so we've had these conversations now one of the things that we've done to have this conversation time and time again is we have a couple of what we have a couple books yeah we have books yeah I got one book. Yeah, we, we you've got one book. We got one book, right? Yeah, one book. So there's <laughs> there's a book called Safety On. It's written by Yehuda Renner. Uh, he's written a, several books uh, for kids, regardless if it's about firearm safety or the Second Amendment or whatever the case may be. And I think it's a really great book to start a conversation with kids. Link to those books are going to be down in the description below. I'm not d saying any of this to get a kickback or anything like that. Yehuda doesn't even know I'm talking about it. I just really believe that these books are extremely helpful in creating that conversation and hopefully making kids feel a little bit more comfortable around guns. They are dangerous, but you know, make sure that they understand that uh, I can be around a gun and not be afraid, right? Yeah. So. All right, so that's kind of when uh, and kind of how to start, I would say. Um, for us, we started mm -hmm. with a rifle, Ruger 1022. Then we moved to my, it's so much fun, then we moved to my AR-15. We shot that. You shot that a couple times, yeah. right? That was a good time. And then today, first time, we started with the pistol. So we're going to go ahead and talk about this guy right here. What is the name of the pistol? LCP2. That's right. And it's so, a little guy. It's a little guy. <laughs> so uh, this is the Ruger LCP2. And this pistol is actually kind of uh, flown underneath the radar. It is new from Ruger. And the reason why it's flown underneath the radar is because another manufacturer introduced a 22 long rifle pistol. That's going to be the Glock 44. Now this video is not going to be a comparison between this and the Glock 44. However, there are a couple comparisons that I do need to make to kind of justify the reason why this might be a better pistol than the other one. So, you've had a chance to shoot Daddy's pistol one time, right? Yes. And how was that? It was after I was, my hand was sore, and it was hard <laughs> to pull the trigger. Right. And it, because it was so... It was so um, big. big. Yeah. And this is just a little guy. Yeah. So it's easier for me to hold it. <laughs> it is. It is. So this is considered kind of like a micro compact. Uh, it is very, very small and will fit her hands a lot better than a Glock 19 sized frame, which is what the Glock 44 is. Yeah. Uh, the Glock 44 is still extremely light, but. Um, it is going to be a lot easier to shoot this for her because it is a lot smaller. So that's something that we really did like about it. Uh, one of the reasons that uh, I really wanted to get this into her hands is because, again, the size of it. But with a Glock 19, you still have the trigger safety, which this one has as well. And uh, she was able to get her hand around this, get a good grip get her finger onto that trigger safety and be able to pull the trigger uh, with no problems whatsoever. Yeah. There's a trigger on the trigger. So. <laughs> That's right. Uh, and yeah. and it, was, it was really difficult to do the same thing on daddy's gun, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was, right? So <clears throat> one of the things I also need to say real quick is thank you very much to Jim from Flying Monkey Gunworks. Uh, he is the reason why we have this pistol. This is in his inventory. He allowed me to use it to bring it out to the range and check it out. And uh, we wanted to make sure that we got some trigger time together Goodbye. with this pistol. Yeah, so that was really cool. Uh, it does come with a 10 round magazine. So that's uh, really impressive for such a small pistol. Yeah. 
Um, he thought it was a six-round. I first. did. I did. I thought it was a six-round magazine, but surprise, surprisingly enough to me, surprise, surprise. it's a ten-round magazine. So ten plus one. It does have a magazine disconnect, so if the magazine is out, you're not going to be able to pull the trigger. Uh, so that is kind of a downside when you are um, trying to dry fire. And that's one of the good things about this is you can dry fire this without harming the striker or the, the firing pin or anything like that, which is great. So you can pull the trigger as many times as you want, but you have to rack it all the way back and then either release the slide or drop the magazine and rack the slide and in order for it to uh, be reset. And I think it's a good thing so you can at least get a little bit of practice like yeah. Pulling the trigger. Yeah, exactly. Without it um, uh, going off. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that's dry fire practice. A lot of people should do that at home to help uh, get them used to how hard it is to pull the trigger or how easy it is to pull the trigger, depending on uh, the type of person, and uh, go from there. All right. So the other thing is, even though it does have a trigger safety, it does also have a thumb safety, which is really nice as well. So uh, I did like that uh, aspect of it for a safety perspective because, you know, mm -hmm. we're, we are talking about kids and firearms, so safety should always be... Uh, safety first. Foremost, yeah. First. Safety first. Safety first. first. So uh, how about the sights? How, were the sights easy enough for you to see? Yeah. Yeah. Um, they are shallow. This is kind of a concealed carry, a deep concealed carry pistol. So these are going to be a little bit more shallow. My hands are cold. Uh, they, do not, they do not have any type of dots on the sights. So uh, it is just uh, black sights. Uh, it does have a uh, magazine or a slide release right here. But I will say that that slide release is pretty far back uh, on, on your hand. So a grown person will have a hard time getting their thumb back there, especially if you have larger hands than I do. Like... <laughs> right? Yeah. So um, let's talk about some of the things that uh, this comes with. Uh, first and foremost is that it comes with a magazine loader. Um, so that's pretty nice and uh, it actually makes things a little bit easier even though it is a 22 long rifle and it's not very difficult to load the magazine this really helps out because you know the magazine's small the ammunition small and it just it's one less thing for you to fumble with so i really did like that then it comes with one of these uh sticky holsters i don't know if it's actually a sticky holster which is a brand but it is very similar to that it has a neoprene um material that is very grippy so you can take this and then put it into your waistband and uh, it will stay in place. I've done a review on these types of uh, holsters in the past and uh, they, they actually work out better than I thought they do. Especially if you have like uh, gym shorts or sweats or something like that with a drawstring, you can pull them tight, use this holster and it should stay in position. So that's something that I thought was a nice added touch. Downside with this pistol is that it only comes with one magazine. I would have liked to have seen at least two, but uh, it does only come with one magazine. And then so you're gonna have to buy it separately. Buy it separately. That's right. Um, for me, uh, this this grip is is okay. I have smaller hands, but my my pinky does kind of hang off the bottom even with the extension on the magazine, and that's not that big of a deal. At the end of the day, this has been a, uh, a great, uh, great pistol to run, and um, we've had a great time. What did you think? Yeah? 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 Really good time. So we're going to go ahead and get out of here. Thanks so much for swinging by. I hope you guys found this uh, video informative. If you have any questions, uh, go ahead and send those down in the comment section down below. I would love to hear what you have to say. That's really all I got that time. Mike's here. we got to get going, so we're going to get out of here. Take it easy. Freedom through strength. We'll catch you next time. Here comes a high five. Bye. Bye, y'all.